Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, Microsoft rolled out our latest Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11. And already now, after they've rolled out our April Patch Tuesday security update, they are already finalizing our next optional bug fix C release update that will roll out near the end of this month, which is KB5036980. And that's for Windows 11 22H2 and 23H2. And if we head to the calendar, because it's now reached um, final testing with the Release Preview Channel Insiders on the 11th, which was yesterday in my region, uh, we could expect that to roll out in the fourth week of April 2024, starting Tuesday the 23rd as our next optional bug fix update. And if you do decide to install the update when it rolls out shortly, if you're running version 22H2, the build will be bumped up to 22621.3520. And if you're running 23H2, that will be 22631.3520. Now, this next optional update brings one new feature where Microsoft says the update improves the widgets icons on the taskbar. Apparently, they are no longer pixelated or fuzzy. And this update also starts the rollout of a larger set of animated icons. Now, I must be honest, I'm not too happy about that because obviously that means that notifications and so on and animations regarding notifications are going to be a lot bigger and larger. So for me personally, um, I don't need that distraction. So if you find yourself uh, in the same boat, so to speak, if you want to turn off notifications, as you may well know, and just on a side note, you head to your settings and yeah, you'll see notifications where you can pop that off and that should reduce some of that um, when it does roll out. So the update improves the widgets icons according to Microsoft on the taskbar and that's the only new feature that will be rolling out um, with this new update. But always just remember with these updates that, that are being finalized, they are still in preview, although they are very close to stable release. And sometimes some of these new features and fixes don't make it too stable and Microsoft decides to pull them at the last moment. So just keep that in mind. Now, if you do want to stick around, uh, because this is a non-security bug fix update, just to let you know about a couple of other improvements that will be rolling out to improve the stability and fix and address some bugs. Now, first of all, the update addresses an issue that affects a low latency network. Apparently, the speed data on the network was degraded significantly. And here's a important fix. The update addresses a race condition that might stop a machine from starting up. Apparently, um, this occurred when you set up a bootloader to start up multiple operating systems. That's an important fix. And then there are two memory issues that have been fixed. First of all, they fixed a memory leak that was affecting some devices. And they also fixed an issue that was causing high memory consumption. So when memory issues are addressed, that means that they are addressing stability and performance issues. So hopefully we should see a bit of a performance uh, increase in aspects of the OS when those bugs are fixed in a couple of days. And the update affects Windows subsystem for Linux 2, WSL2. Apparently, um, the intermittent name resolution was failing in a split DNS setup. So that's also an important fix if you are using WSL2. And then the update affects the touch keyboard. Apparently, it makes the Japanese 106 keyboard layout appear as expected when you sign in. And the update addresses an issue that affects universal printers. The system cre uh, created duplicate print queues, apparently, and that's been now addressed. And I have found with these bug fix updates, there's always a print issue that gets addressed and from a some other print issue that gets addressed from a month to and on a month to month basis, and then uh, just three more to go. The update addresses an issue that affects um, Bluetooth advanced audio. Apparently, it fixes a stop error that was occurring. And I always say any stop error, which basically is a blue screen of death that gets fixed, is an important fix. And then the update addresses an issue that affects. Um, fix the settings apparently as an example just to show you what this is all about um, it stops responding when you dismiss a fly out menu so as an example if we can just find a fly out menu and if we just head to one of those he has a fly out menu so apparently when you were just dismissing a fly out menu um, it stopped responding for some that's been addressed and then the last one just to mention for this video 
This update, they say, addresses an issue that affects the Resilient File System, REFS for short. Apparently, a high load might make the system unresponsive. And also, it was um, signing in could be slow. So, apparently, that's been fixed as well. So, that's more or less, guys, what we can expect to see. Um, roll out with our next optional bug fix update um, over the next couple of days for Windows 11, KB5036980. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.